Alright, today I thought I'd do a quick port review for Fighting EX Slayer Double Dash on the Switch. Uh, one thing I should note, uh, there's a couple things actually. Uh, the first is that this is not just your standard Switch port, like some of the other games I have on here. <laughs> East Origin, Shing, Fight and Rage, etc. It's not just a straight console port. Uh, this is actually the most recent version of the game. Uh, they did like a complete overhaul, they changed a lot of the mechanics. I think they made the game a lot more fun. Uh, I didn't really play the first version that much because it was dead on arrival online, uh, despite the fact that they added rollback. Uh, this version apparently has rollback, but I couldn't find any uh, online players. The only, the only match I had was with a, uh, a friend who's local in town, and uh, they were a pretty decent distance away from me, and it felt really, really solid, so uh, I can't really comment on the netcode. I tried to get a match earlier on my kitty sitting shift, and uh, kind of drew a blank there. <laughs> um, Part of the problem is that I, I should mention is only available on the Japanese eShop right now. Uh, it will be available on the international or the overseas eShops, overseas from Japan, I mean, uh, within the next two weeks. I believe it comes out on the 15th, so hopefully there will be more people playing it then. Uh, you can download the game for free and try it. You can check out the mechanics and stuff. Um, the game is very lacking in tutorials. Uh, you definitely have to count on looking at the mechanics from elsewhere or just going in the lab or something. It's one of those games that's uh, very lacking single-player content-wise. But it is quite fun. I definitely enjoy the new mechanics. So let's play for a little bit. I'm not really going to bother explaining uh, the majority of the mechanics because I'm not really an expert on this game. I've only been playing it for a few hours. Um, but I will explain the changes they made. They basically added a lot more ways to combo. They added like uh, like an EX dash cancel that gives you chain combos and stuff. You can also use it to extend ground combos. And then they gave you a super jump, which allows you to do air chains as well. Uh, I can't comment on balance changes because I haven't played the game enough. <laughs> I feel like if people actually want to learn this game, there's probably people that have been playing the original version for years now that could probably do a better job at that than me. Uh, this is mostly just to show how the game works. Fighting EX Layer! So as you can see in the upper left hand corner it says uh, version 2.0 so this is like their, their big balance and mechanics uh, patch. So when you don't pay for the game, uh, you're going to be missing, like, online versus, I think. Uh, you can't get into training mode either, which I think is a little bit unfair. <laughs> I think they should at least give you the training mode so that you can try out the game. It's like, if you want people to, to try your game for free and maybe buy the full version, I think you should give them training mode so that they can kind of practice uninterrupted and learn the mechanics and stuff. Unfortunately, you don't get that here, so uh, it might be better to try the game on another platform if you already have it or something. Try the game there, and then check out the new mechanics. So, speaking of which, let's check out the new mechanics. So, I've tried a majority of the characters. Uh, this guy is pretty cool. I use this character a lot. I use Terry a little bit as well. We're going to play as this Blair character. Day. So there's two uh, control modes, and this one's really going to throw you off if you've been playing fighting games for a long time. It uses, like, a directional system. Every time I accidentally select this, I, like, can't play the game because I, I just have, like, 25 years or so of playing 2D fighting games <laughs> ingrained in my memory. Uh, I guess this is probably pretty useful for certain moves, but uh, most of the inputs in this game are actually pretty simple. So let's put it on classic. See that's it. Now this game uh, maps both Fierce and Roundhouse to uh, R1 and R2, respectively. Normally in a game like this I don't like that, but here you have uh, a new mechanic mapped to it. So I think the default controls, at least if you're not playing on stick, I'm, I was too lazy to pick up my stick right now, is probably ideal, otherwise you're going to have to hit L1 and R1 or some other combination. So I'm not going to go over the mechanics because a lot of people have already done pretty good guides for this game. We're just going to show the new mechanics. So first off, you have EX Dash, and you can cancel into this from anything. So you can do stuff like this. 
So after you EX dash, uh, you get a chain combo, but you can also just go into uh, a raw normal or a link, depending on your character's normal distance and stuff. And you can use that to chain. So let's try that again. Let's let's try showing the the air combo or the chain combo again. Yeah, that didn't combo. There you go. Now alternatively, you can also go into a link as well. There's a basic combo with meter. Also, they added the super jump. So you can use this either to start a combo or do like a punish with like uh, against a projectile or something. Like say, this character threw a projectile, I could go from this distance and do a short forward roundhouse. Those are the new mechanics they added. They also added this. I'm not sure if this was in the original game either. It's like a guard crush. Okay, so that's basically the gist of the new mechanics, like I said. You want more detailed stuff from somebody who's played the game for more than three hours? I think there's better places to go for that. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like I'm a master at this game, like some of the games I play more often or I have more experience with. Rare game. So the native resolution is not that great. I, I'm not quite sure. It seems like it's running in 720p. But what's good about this compared to other Unreal Engine uh, fighting game ports on the Switch is that it pretty much runs at a lock 60 FPS. Uh, some people have found some isolated situations which cause the frame rate to drop, but this is actually a legit good port. You can see it looks pretty blurry. Not the best looking game on the platform, but you look at stuff like Mortal Kombat and Dragon Ball Fighters, which are on the same engine and have a lot of problems with overall performance. And I think it's a good sacrifice, if you ask me at least. <laughs> Classic Daru Super. These guys deserve all the love. Not only did they patch rollback into their game, they actually changed the mechanics and they made sure the Switch port is ac actually feasible for competitive play. <laughs> like, no one really plays, uh... No one really plays the Switch version of Dragon Ball Fighters or Mortal Kombat 11 com competitively. Because those games uh, don't have good ports. He could very easily bring this setup to, uh, you know, when the pandemic ends or something, when we have uh, local fighting game events again. He could easily just bring your Switch and a couple controllers and fight sticks and you could have, like, a tournament on this. <laughs> you can't really say that for a lot of the other fighting games on Switch. They all have really bad performance issues and stuff. I've played through this arcade mode maybe like three or four times, and I haven't seen a single frame drop. Load times are quite long, though. It does seem to drain the battery quite a bit as well. It is an Unreal Engine 4 game, so that's to be expected. <laughs> In terms of uh, practicality of playing this with the Joy-Cons, uh, most, most of the motions are pretty simple, and this also doesn't require pushing more than two buttons at once, and they were nice enough to put Fierce and Roundhouse on the right side of the controller by default, so that will allow you to do pretty much all the actions without needing a special Joy-Con like the one that I have. I'm on the Switch Pro controller right now. Oh. 
Oops. Not the best looking game. I mean, it's not really that great looking on on like more powerful platforms either. But uh, it's nice that they prioritized the performance. Even Battle for the Grid, which is one of the best fighting game ports on the Switch, uh, there's certain levels in that game that tank the frame rate. So when you play that game in crossplay, they always specifically uh, ban that level because it doesn't put everybody on an equal playing field. Uh, that game does have full crossplay. I don't believe this does, but <laughs> you know, if you're trying to have a tournament with multiple platforms on that game, you have to ban that level because of the performance discrepancy. I don't think there's any problems like that here, which is nice. Footsies going on here. <laughs> Footsies against the AI. I'm Evo ready, folks. Anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go through the whole the whole arcade mode. I pretty much have explained everything. Uh, if you're more interested in how the game works, uh, it works very similarly to Street Fighter EX because this is made by the same developers. But it's got some new things as well. The Gogi system seems to be gone completely. Uh, they basically just baked a lot of that into the, the core mechanics and they added the the EX dash and the EX jump, and uh, I don't know what the jump is called, it's just called the EX jump. <laughs> uh, you saw both of those mechanics used. The game is quite fun, it is very light on single player content, if you're expecting like a, a Mortal Kombat 11, you know, amount of single player content, you're going to be disappointed. Uh, it's very competitive focused, which is pretty obvious by the fact that, <laughs> you know, the game doesn't look great, but you actually could probably play this on... Uh, in a like a competitive setting at like a tournament or something when uh, you know when the lockdown ends and stuff <laughs> uh, a lot of the other switch ports for fighting games you definitely could not do that uh, there would be some massive compromises even like I said battle for the grid which is uh, in terms of functionality is the best the best fighting game port on switch because it has full cross play with all other platforms so there's no segregated player base there's still uh, that mystic forest level which takes the frame rate so Anytime they do like a cross-play tournament, they have to take extra care to not pick that level because otherwise uh, whatever a player is playing on the Switch is going to be at a massive disadvantage. There don't seem to be any of those problems here. They did a really good job optimizing it. Uh, it's not a good looking game. I'm sure when the uh, the inevitable Switch Pro or Switch 2 or whatever it's going to be called comes out, they'll probably up the resolution. But it felt very solid, I and mean, definitely a lot of de delay-based fighting games that you can't even play with people like 10 miles away from you right now. So uh, I, I can't really test—I can't really testify toward the uh, or give a good testimony towards the netcode. But the two matches I played were quite good. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in buying the game, you can get it on the Japanese eShop right now. Uh, the game is free to play uh, initially, but if you want all the modes and online play and stuff, then you will have to pay about 3,000 yen. It's going to be about $25 on the US eShop, I believe on the 15th. So uh, 
you'd only be paying about five or six dollars more if you're itching for something to play right now. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this channel, there's not really a lot of exciting games coming out this month. Uh, I, I recommend it. The game's quite fun. It, it's got a lot of cool combos and stuff, but it's got a nice amount of fundamentals as well. You saw there, it's got some footsies and uh, doesn't really re promote button mashing. You've still got links and stuff. Uh, chains are pretty much limited to the EX action. Pretty good balanced game. Thanks for watching.